WVUD and WVUD HD1 Newark 701 this morning and Tiana with the news. Good morning, Tiana. Good morning, Michelle, and thank you. Good morning, everyone. I'm Tiana Beckles with the news at the top of the hour. President Barack Obama is delivering a commencement address today at the U.S. Coast Guard Academy in New London, Connecticut. According to officials, the speech will frame the challenges of climate change as a matter of national security that threatens to aggravate political instability around the globe and jeopardize the readiness of U.S. forces. Obama's speech to the cadets is to focus on what the president says are immediate risks to national security. In international news, a major maker of airbags is now responsible for what will be considered the largest auto recall in U.S. history. According to officials, Japanese company Takata has agreed to declare nearly 34 million airbags defective. The recall comes after the discovery that the chemical that inflates the airbags can explode with too much force, sending shrapnel into the vehicle. There have been six deaths and more than 100 injuries. The agreement adds 18 million bags to the recall. And now we will hear how student athletes at the University of Delaware are bringing about positive changes in their community outside of the realm of sports. Kyle Coulter has the story. Let's go, Abby! Let's go! Let's go, Abby! Let's go! While many student athletes at the University of Delaware are touted for their achievements on the field, each team makes concerted effort to bring about positive change outside the lines. Eight teams on campus have adopted Be Positive Heroes as part of the Andrew McDonough Be Positive Foundation. These heroes are children who are battling cancer. Elise Andrews, a senior on the women's lacrosse team, talks about what it means to be a mentor to these children. Abby was our first Be Positive.